He tells me that he lost 25 pounds from going without food and nearly lost everything. Now covered in scratches, blisters, and bug bites, Chris Staff wanted to complete his most challenging day hike ever after recently turning 70 years old. Was that um, part of the motivation for you Absolutely, to complete the Absolutely, now or never. At 1 a.m. last Monday, staff set out on a 30-mile trail known as the Pemi Loop in the White Mountains near Lincoln, New Hampshire. Less than five miles from the end, something went wrong. I just got disoriented. I got on the wrong side of, uh, there was a washouts and things like that, and uh, I couldn't find the right path. Staff then lost his backpack, along with his water, food, and insect repellent. By the next day, helicopters were flying overhead, and he knew his wife, Catherine, must have called for help when he didn't return home. But soon, he was starving and hallucinating. I'd see people across the river and, you know, I'd tell them I'm in distress, and one guy told me to come across, and, you know, I thought I had it. I thought I had somebody that's going to help me. And I don't know if they're real or not, because I crossed the river and nobody's there. He drank water from streams, slept under a rock to escape storms, and by Friday, had nearly given up. I still had some energy left, so I, I went up on the ridge one last, the last time I went up on the ridge, I saw a, a trail sign, a two-way trail sign. I never saw anything so beautiful in my life. It's awesome. A few minutes later, some hikers came along, and soon he was loaded onto an ATV and hauled out to where his wife was waiting. She was right there waiting for me. At the trailhead? Yeah. <laughs> Friday night's her workout night. You know, and I said, you're not working out tonight, are you? <laughs> the hiking boots, which for a while last week, staff thought he might never take off, now sit by his front steps. He says his days of extreme hiking are over, but the lesson he learned last week in the wilderness will stick with him forever. Don't give up, Jesus. Don't give up. He also recommends that you should always hike in a group, never as he did alone. He says he will still hike some, but probably on the walking path around Castle Island. Live in Dorchester, David Beanick, WCVB News Center 5.